1963, a massive crowd gathered in the court of Lincoln Memorial, Washington D.C. to listen to the I Have a Dream speech of Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. His wishes of justice and fair treatment for black people look impossible and far from reality. But decades later, the impossible happened. Barack Obama was sworn in as the 44th President of the United States of America. A black man was elected to take the seat of power in the White House. Wishes to come true, and like Reverend Martin Luther King, I have a dream today. I have a dream that Nigeria as a nation will wake up and rise up to the true meaning of his creed. I have a dream that one day, Brabant in a great nation would be delivered at 10 times more than the current speed and at 5 times less than the current cost of data. I have a dream that one day, Brabant penetration to the nooks and crannies of Nigeria would explode, giving rise to the economy of scale and a crash in prices. It will use the increase in capacity to power the way we live, work, and do business. We'll not just be talking of a smart homes or offices or cities. We'll be talking of a smart nation and a smart world. 5G and successes will have been laid to the rest. I will be communicating on something the net at the blazing speed of 10G. Expect this to happen. I have a dream that one day is of the current approach the Nigeria and Bureau of Statistics will embrace more of technology. The Bureau will employ tech savvy data analysis who will use quantum computing to solve all the mumbo jumbo that currently exists in the national data space. Big data techniques and augmented analytics will be used for data gathering and also to intelligently analyze and make sense of complex data. The outcome, the strategic information that our leaders in government and industry need for good decision making will be made available to them at your fingertips. The decisions of our leaders will become data driven and more accurate. We will become a nation of superior intelligence because of the power of technology. I have a dream that one day our electoral process will become just a free from manipulation. I could use a combination of computer vision and facial recognition for voter registration. Unique retina scans will be used for voter identity management. There will be no more bloating of voters, registrars, or the day of voting. Results will be transmitted and collected immediately using computing power and distributed ledgers. With the development of super secure data protection and authentication, our elections will become free and fair. I have a dream that one day the characterization of Nigeria as a nation of fraudsters and scammers or yao yao words as they call them become a thing of the past. We will use blockchain and distributed ledgers to develop a national transaction gateway to authenticate and secure business transactions done between Nigerians and foreigners abroad. The end of a country at the capital of advanced free fraud or 419 will be eliminated by the authentication and the security that will result from an engagement of blockchain technology. I have a dream that one day in the middle of a chemistry class at Lagos State Community School, the teacher will distribute headsets and negate virtual reality. To give the students a lifelike industrial facility tour and not to make soaps at Unilever's factory without even leaving the classroom. In like manner, by employing augmented reality and mixed reality, the geography teacher, while explaining the solar system, we will be able to take the students on a brief time travel to join NASA space engineers taking soil samples and exploring plants and animal life on the surface of Mars. I have a dream that by 2030, low cabs and buses in Lagos would have given way to self driving intelligent vehicles. Last mile officials will have little or no work to do, as these autonomous vehicles always obey traffic rules. As this on our road will have been most eliminated and will have been almost eliminated too. 
In like manner, I have a dream that by 2030, I'll be able to commute in a drone taxi like a street passenger, 80 kilometers per hour. In Seraph, Seraph built by vertical aerospace, it will be possible for me to board a passenger drone from Alausa and Keja for my meeting at Lekki this morning. I'll be able to save myself the stress of traffic jam on the third mainland bridge and also be able to avoid the hold up at Lekki to it. While enjoying the beautiful area view of Lagos in the air car, I will arrive on time for my meeting and get to the venue relaxed. By 2030, I have a dream that Nigeria, Nigerian Pacific Aviation Agency, NCCA, -A, NCAA, NCAA, I mean, will have relaxed its current choking on the regulations of the use of drones. So the regulations will allow private job companies to partner with government agencies in use of drone tech for disaster management, firefighting, and rescue missions. It will then be possible to LAP emergency patients in drone ambulances to hospitals for quick medical attention. I presume that one day the companies in Nigeria will install chatbots, the cousins of Siri and Alexa, in their customer service units to allow inquiries and also to interface with customers. The chatbots will not go to sleep but provide customer service 24 7 and 365 days in a year. That would definitely be better and also more efficient than what obtains now. Where people making their cars are kept 24 hours for the next available customer service person. I have a dream that our nation will never again endanger the life of our doctors and health workers in the pandemic. We will engage robots to the front lines, robots like spots built by Boston, um, Boston Dynamics, who will deploy the NMAS across the nation to help in infection testing, analysis, and also treatment. Robots will work in collaboration with humans as cobots to find speedy solutions to the disease while reducing the hazards of infections and deaths for our health workers. Hmm. A few years ago, I lost my beloved aunt and mentor, Yemi jo Mimsi Joel Osibo Niagora, to the cold rips of breast, breast cancer. I have been thinking of a way to pay cancer back for this tragedy. And so, I have a dream that before 2030, doctors researching all around the world will have made breakthrough discoveries and will have been able to leverage the knowledge of genomics and gene editing to master how to alter the genetic structure of living organisms and use it for good, most especially. By then, our medical scientists will have mastered the reversal of DNA mutations that cause cancer. Technology will have delivered me the sweet revenge I have always desired over a disease that snatched away my heart. No one, I say no one, will ever have to die from cancer again. All humanity will then be able to shut about cancer. Free! Free, free, and we are free at last. From your good, at last. This are my dreams, and they may sound lofty and far-fetched, but I believe, like Reverend Michael Luther King Jr., that in a short while from now, not in a short while from now, and not to this distant future, these dreams will begin to unfold before our very eyes through my power of technology. Expect the impossible, keep dreaming, because like Reverend King showed us, dreams come true. Thank you.